Welcome back to this, everybody. I'm your host, Shauna Griffiths. And today's next gen episode is a real talk with a real leader who is up and coming. And I have a little bit of a context as background. So her name is Annika Florio. Annika, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me, Shauna. I'm so, so excited. Awesome. So Annika is currently Associate Manager in Partnerships at the Drone Racing League. Um, we'll get into all of that in a minute. And we'll, I'll probably also refer to it as DRL. So just note to self. Um, and so Annika and I worked at the same place, uh, uh, I don't know, once upon a time. And, <laughs> and Annika was in my, the marketing team that I led. Um, and Annika, I don't even know if you remember this. I kind of hope not, but I'm reminding you. So whatever. And so I always get excited when I was to meet the newer people and the younger than me people. And so Annika walks in and she's like, my name is Annika. And I got so excited because my, one of my nieces is named Annika and I've never heard anybody with the name or spelled like that. So funny. And so I lost all composure was like, oh my God, my niece's <laughs> name is Annika. And I was suddenly so embarrassed. I was like, oh God, I'm not cool at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, Sean, I mean, I, I remember meeting you and, you know, when we worked together, it was so fun. Everyone just, Shauna this, Shauna that. I'm like, I have to meet Shauna um, at some point. So it was the same kind of moment for me, right? We cannot, we cannot remember it as such. But Well, thanks for uh, <laughs> giving me a pass on that <laughs> blunder of an intro. Um, so as I said, Annika and I work together um, also with what is now the Associate Vice President at DRL, Melanie Walner, who is just absolutely amazing and helped um, make this happen today. So thank you, Melanie. Um, and I remember just all the, like, Annika's so amazing, Annika's so amazing, you know, when we were working together. And so it's been such a pleasure to watch you flourish um, in your career as you've gone on. So, so let's start out with, talk yeah. to us about your evolution from college, um, Annika, and, and to, to the seat that you have now. Sure. So I transferred to Fordham University going into my junior year of college. And at the time, I wanted I had no idea what I wanted to do, right? So I said, I'm going to do five different internships before I graduate and kind of figure it out. And I ended up, my, my first internship at Lead Dog Marketing Group uh, was there for about three months. And then I, I said, all right, guys, I have to go. Um, it's been three months. They said, just stay. So I ended up staying at Lead Dog for just about two years, which was incredible, was brought on essentially full-time to work on the accounts team, on the marketing side, um, managing experiential activations and, and absolutely loved it. And then just about two weeks before my college graduation, received an opportunity to interview with DRL and fast forward about two and a half years and here we are. Two and a half Crazy. years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Flying. So yeah, it's so amazing. And I, and I love how you went from like marketing and an experiential and then transitioned into partnership. Yeah. So, so we'll get to that in a minute, but like, sure. so let's talk about just give people context a little bit about DRL. Um, sure. Again, drone racing, it's at the epicenter of so many things like culture crashing. So sports, tech, yeah. entertainment, um, you know, innovation. So Give us a snapshot of that and then talk to us about like what drew you there and, and what's a day in the life of Annika at DRL? <laughs> sure. So DRL, you know, at a high level, we are the world's premier professional drone racing property. We have the best pilots in the world flying in the league for millions of fans on NBC and Twitter. We are currently in the midst of our 2021 22 broadcast season, which you can watch right now on, on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. And we built this incredible proprietary drone technology, which happens at our New York HQ. Um, the drones fly zero to 90 miles an hour in under one second. So they are lightning fast and incredibly engaging to watch. And we have 12 professional pilots that we recruit from across the globe, fly in venues and stadiums, arenas, you know, iconic properties all over the world um, in a global circuit. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, so what was it that drew you? I know you said that in the beginning you, you had this interview and like, what made you go like, I want to be in that because it's cutting edge, but it's also really different, right? I think some people were like, yeah. what is this? And is it going to make it? So I think just in terms of what drew me to DRL, DRL is the perfect intersection of two things I'm really passionate about, sports and technology. We just signed an incredible partnership with Algorand to disrupt sports and gaming on the blockchain. And, you know, in my two and a half years that I've been with DRL, we are building something incredible from the ground up, 
right? That, that opportunity to really innovate something with a team of people who are so, so committed to the growth of this property is something that is, is so, so excited to me, exciting to me. Um, when I started at DRL, my first weekend actually was immediately flown on a plane to Berlin to produce a commercial with BMW and Formula E. And that was probably my, you know, my third day on the job. And I think in that moment, I knew I was like, okay, this place is, is right for me. Um, the speed and, you know, the innovation and everything I'm looking for in my next move. And I think right, right then I knew that this was going to be something I was really excited about. That's incredible. So it sounds yeah. like it is probably I, and I know a lot of the cast of characters who you work yeah. with, so this is a little bit of a reflection of them. Yeah, Rachel, yeah. Jake, Rachel Jacobson, who's your president. Yeah. Um, Carolyn McCullough, who's the, I believe, uh, the uh, vice president of marketing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and your CEO and founder, I remember the first time I met him, I was like, well, this guy means business. So, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, the, the, I think it, I would assume that the pace is, you know, you guys are working at a clip. Um, and so, you know, high demand, high expectations, which I say um, with respect because uh, I'm <laughs> known, to, known to be the same. So, so tell me, like, literally, what's it like a day in the life of you, you know, in your seat at DRL? Absolutely. I think, Shauna, I mean, no two days in partnerships at DRL are ever the same, which I love. I'm working on an incredible team to manage these groundbreaking partnerships for the league, you know, with working from our partnership with Algorand, T-Mobile, the U.S. Air Force, Allianz, we have an incredible portfolio and my role is so integrated, right, across, across the league. And so I get to work so, so closely with a lot of our teams internally. Um, again, we're building all of our drones at our office and our event production and our broadcast media teams are in-house as well. So I'm really fortunate to get to spend a lot of time with those teams, which, you know, with someone so early in my career is something that I, I'm really grateful for just in terms of being able to understand those work streams as well. Yeah, I think it's so great to get that. I mean, you just yeah. said like early in your career and mm -hmm. the exposure that you're getting, that, that integrated experience, because sure. you know, just all the tools you're building in your toolbox to really yeah. allow yourself to flourish as you continue is, is so amazing. And, and it's been awesome for me to, as I've said earlier, like to watch you flourish, but also the uh, recognition of your achievements along the way. So you've got some pretty big ones, Annika. <laughs> you were a front office sports uh, rising 25 award recipient. Um, you are also this year a part of the Sports Business Journal Game Changer Mentor Program, um, which I'm also then able to be a part of. Um, you know, so so you're clearly pretty driven. Um, so so tell us about that. Like, what drives you? What fuels you really to be your best every day? Absolutely. I think first of all, thank you. Both of those honors were incredible. I was so grateful to receive them, and I'm so energized. You know, by the people and my peers who are also, you know, young up and comers in the industry who are making a difference in their respective roles every day. And I think from a professional, professional standpoint, um, I'm driven by my rock star team that I work <laughs> with. Um, you know, I'm surrounded again, you named some incredible visionary leaders um, who work here at DRL and are absolutely propelling the sport forward at a rapid, rapid pace. Um, so I think I'm, I'm fueled by that innovation and the ability for us to come together and create something again from the ground up and really bring incredible opportunities to our partners, which is, you know, something that's so core to my DNA and, and my day to day here, um, be, you know, to be fueled by that innovation. Um, Rachel has the saying, high tide raises all boats. We've kind of changed that. So it's, you know, high tide raises all drones, but <laughs> she, she means it when she says it, we are working in an incredibly collaborative team-based environment. And, you know, as someone again, who's young and looking at all these different leaders and how they're leading our team, you know, to, to great success is, is something that is really exciting to me. That's fantastic. Yeah. It, you know, and I think it really is like a testament to your dedication to be in that, because I think that sometimes there's this perception that like being in that type of a, a property is so right. sexy and fun all the time and just cool. And yes, and <laughs> it's also, you know, to, to be able to keep it up every day and to like meet, like sustain that pace it, is a lot. And I just want to say, like, I recognize the amount the work you put into it and that passion. And sometimes that's part of what fuels you to be able to, sure. 
keep going every day. Cause it's like, it doesn't stop <laughs> It's right. like 24, seven, 365, right. you know? So, um, you know, so I just think I'm excited that you've continued that. Um, and I think it really will be a part of, uh, continuing to propel you. So, so good on you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you. Um, I mentioned this earlier. So you went from marketing and experiential and you made a shift, um, right. into the partnership space. So, and, and, you know, from my background, those are my two sweet spots, integrated yeah. marketing, brand partnerships, yep. love it, can't get enough. Um, so, but tell us like, why, why did you make that shift? And like, also you mentioned some pretty remarkable deals and what do you think is the making of a good deal? Sure. So I think, you know, the shift from marketing to partnership, I loved, right. It being in marketing, the ability to play kind of both sides, right? So you're doing a lot of the partnership management, but you're also kind of in the weeds on the production side, but I'm such a people person and, you know, so energized by different personalities and I guess kind of the psychology of, you know, leaning into people and understanding, you know, what works for them. And so when I got a taste of that on the marketing side, um, I realized that's kind of where my sweet spot was and where I really you know, what I really enjoyed is being able to connect with people. Again, our, our partnership portfolio is so diverse. So, you know, the people on the other side of those deals are, of course, have incredibly, you know, different personalities. Um, and they all bring such unique, you know, characteristics and traits to the table. So that's something that I love um, is being able to figure out how to connect with them. And I think, you know, the making of a gr great partnership deal is, it's just that human connection, um, right? We work again with our, our new partner, Al Grand. Um, I've never, you know, our partnership portfolio is amazing, but I've never seen the crypto community, you know, or any real community connect with drone racing as, as quickly as the Al Grand community has. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I think is, is so exciting for us to watch, right? We will be on Twitter streaming, you know, our show on Wednesday nights, and we have people tweeting images of Al Grand branding and promotions and it's so exciting for us to see that. So I think, you know, when brands can lean in as much as we're leaning in for brands, right? It's, it's so mm -hmm. important for me in my role to be supporting brands and their key objectives. And when you see the brand, you know, reciprocating that in a way, we're obviously energized to, to really increase that ROI for them even more. Yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. like, wait, this actually is a partnership. It's a partnership. It's a partnership. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So um, we, we talked about that being a transition for you. So um, I'm super curious. I actually have started asking our next geners this because I am really curious. Like, are you someone that looks at like five-year planning, three-year planning, or is it more of an organic process for you when you're thinking about your career? Sure. I think right now, you know, only being a few years into my career, it's pretty organic. I am taking every opportunity to learn from amazing leaders like yourself and Rachel and, you know, every, Melanie and everyone that I that I look at every day to, to be growing. Um, I think when I you know started out in the industry, I guess almost five years ago now, I definitely wouldn't have expected to be in the place that I'm in now, you know, having these incredible opportunities for growth and working under such visionary leaders. Um, so I don't know, you know, what the next few years will look like right now. DRL is in such a place of rapid growth. Um, mm -hmm. It's so exciting to be here. We have so many exciting things, you know, to look forward to as we close out our 21, 22 season and, and look ahead. So I definitely am, you know, more organic in that sense. Um, but I do, of course, you know, have, you know, lofty career goals that I'm excited <laughs> about and, and remain focused on, but pretty organic in that sense. Yeah. I, I love that because I think that you know, it can be so daunting to say to ourselves, I have to be here at a certain time. And like, I think there's a part of um, meeting ourselves with grace as we're sure. allowing the, like the evolution of our career yeah. to actually happen. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's like, I, I remember uh, through my journey, it was like, I was either so worried about something or it was almost like I was choking it off. And so I just love it to see that leaning into it, as you said, and, mm -hmm. you know, allowing it to unfold. And, but yeah. I'm sure at times that comes with some trepidation and some like a little bit of impatience as well. So, sure. um, you know, I just, I definitely encourage you to keep up that mindset and um, it's clearly working for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think to your point, Shauna, you know, being able to put the trust in the leaders that I look up to every day is something that's really important for me. Um, in my role, you know, I am given so much autonomy to really build these partnerships and, and kind of run with them. And I think that's so important is, is to have that support system backing you every day because, you know, we obviously can't do it alone. And 
you know, starting out young in the industry, it's so important to have, have those people to look up to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, but we were talking about this earlier and the pace, right? And I think some of that pace is, as you mentioned, being a part of a team that is so ambitious, right? Sure. And I say this again with respect because yeah. Yeah. I've been called this too, <laughs> hard driver, you know, yeah. being um, tough, but fair. And I feel like you are surrounded by people who are like that. And so again, you're working at a clip, you've got all of that, you know, the, the drive around you. I'm curious, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you can do that while you're young and it still is taxing, right? So yeah. talk to us a bit about like, how do you, how do you keep up with it? And, um, you know, are there different techniques that you use to allow yourself to maintain? And also because it's about staving off burnout too, right? right? Of course. Yeah. No. And I think I'm someone who's, you know, who's so excited about the pace, right? Yeah. It's not for everybody. I, I certainly <laughs> think, you know, I have a lot of really smart friends who are successful in their respective industries who, you know, close their laptops at five o'clock and, and show up the next day. And, and that's just not my personality and not mm. what challenges me and what, what excites me. Um, you know, from staying, staying warm, I guess would be the word is <laughs> I use Chase Field, our live race at Chase Field in 2019 as a great example. We had thousands of people on a Sunday night um, come to our live race and we produced this incredible event. It was, it was amazing. I, I get chills thinking about it. But I think, I think about moments like that where I'm standing on the, you know, in the concourse in Phoenix watching what we've built, right? And every once in a while, it's so important for us. Again, to your point, we're moving so fast all the time. It's something, you know, again, I don't think is unique to the industry, but again, DRL is growing at a rapid, rapid pace, um, which is incredible. But it, I think for me, it's so important, you know, to take a step back every once in a while and, and really think about what we're building, you know, for the league and the property. Um, I also think, you know, as a, as a human, mm -hmm. I try every once in a while to, again, like personally take a step back, right? Yeah. Focus on, you know, what is so important. I am a runner. I like to get outside and hike and, you know, do all sorts of outdoorsy types of things um, to keep myself energized, right? Um, yeah. We travel a lot to your point, which is something that I am so grateful for and that I'm really loving in my first few years. But to your point, you know, you have to, you have to stay on and keep fresh and especially in a, in a partner facing role, um, have to be high energy. And, and that's something that I love and I'm so excited about. So, yeah. 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 No, it's so great to hear that. Like, again, this early in your career, you're building in these things that help to like, not only fuel you, but also sure. to refuel you. Right. Totally. And so those things I think get, you know, and, and I look back and wish that I had learned them earlier in my career. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think people were talking about it so much. Right. right. And so now it, it's so great to see that because it does become so important, you know, or I think mm -hmm. it really helps like priorities Absolutely. and just mental health and, yep. you know, being able to, to, to keep up. So, so thank sure. you for sharing that. So you shared so much about, and thank you for, um, about like what you guys have been doing. And I mean, it's remarkable. I know I mentioned earlier, yeah. um, working with you and Melanie, but I was also a part of like the launch, you know, again, once upon a time of, of DRL <laughs> and just to see how far it's, it's, um, you know, come is amazing. So, um, to close us out, give us an idea of, um, you know, what's, what's going on for, what can we expect for 2022? If you can tell us, um, and you mentioned some of your partners, but anything else you want to share, um, about partnerships coming up for 2022? Sure. I mean, backtracking to 2021, right. Looking now we're in November. It's just been such an incredible year for us. And we've really transformed DRL, right. We've legalized sports betting, we've expanded our DRL sim game. We're now on four, four platforms um, and we're developing these incredibly innovative partnerships with amazing brands. I mean, Algorand, T-Mobile, Dragonfly is another one of our new partners. We're gonna be creating something called DRL Labs to innovate drone technology within the space. Um, and so we, ha we have a lot going on. And as we look to close out 2021, you might've seen an announcement that we will be racing at T-Mobile Arena for a DRL Vegas championship race uh, presented by T-Mobile on January 5th, the first, the opening night of, of CES, which we are so excited about. Um, that event, I mean, is gonna showcase such an incredible collaboration between DRL and T-Mobile on the greatest stage for the world's top tech. So we are so, so excited about that to really you know, close out our 2021 season, but also kick off 22, which is gonna be a huge year for us. I mean, we have massive, massive plans for global expansion. 
we will have our 22 23 DRL Algorand World Championship season that we are planning, you know, in global markets. So expect to see us in a lot of different places, you know, producing large scale live events for thousands of people in, in key markets all over the world. So, you know, we have big goals for 2022 and we're really, really excited about them. Um, I'm personally, you know, I, this has been a great year, but I know 22 will bring really good things to us. So stay tuned, a lot more to come, um, but great things ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, big things ahead for the league, for the company and for you. And I am just, again, congratulations so much on your evolution, the impact you're having on your peers, your, you know, the, the people around you, the people who are your leaders. Um, and I'm excited to see what is next for you as well. So thank you so much, Anika. Thank you so much, Anna. This was so fun and, you know, appreciate all you've done for me and the young up and comers in the industry.